literary reportage to me uh, holds this incredible promise of taking the basic skills of journalism and learning how to tell stories and, and try new things, literary things, things that add art to the just the facts approach. I wanted to write about prisons. Uh, I'd moved to New York in the 90s and noticed that there were headlines all the time about record numbers of inmates and about the racial character of incarceration here. You know, 90 percent of the inmates were minority group members. And then it occurred to me that no one had really ever tried to capture prison through the eyes of guards, of officers, instead of a nuanced understanding of what that's like. We have these big fat stereotypes of brutes. And I thought, you know, maybe there is something brutal about the job, but guards understand prison uh, nearly as intimately as inmates do. You know, traditional journalists uh, learn about things in a variety of ways, but they depend heavily on the interview. Anthropologists learn about people by uh, immersion, uh, by doing field work, by living with people. And I realized that that idea of going beyond an interview to learn something, uh, of actually doing something yourself, uh, can get you closer to understanding how other people look at the world. So whenever possible, I like to do things that way. It took me three years to get hired, and then I spent almost a year as a, a New York State CEO, uh, working at Sing Sing, which is one of the oldest prisons, just up the river from New York in uh, New York City in Westchester County. Back at the academy, more than one instructor had said it took four or five years to make a good CO or corrections officer. The four or five years thing had sounded like self-flattery. But after five months at Sing Sing, I understood. Experience mattered. Or more precisely, it took time and confrontations to decide or to discover what kind of person was going to be wearing your uniform. A hard ass or a softy? Inmate's friend or inmate's enemy? Straight or crooked? A user of force or a writer of tickets? A strict overseer or a lender of hands? The job was full of discretionary power, and the decisions about how to use it were often moral. I think of my classes as being about empowerment. I am not the great uh, know-it-all professor who's checking to make sure if you've been listening hard enough to tell me the answers back on the test. I think of myself as a coach. And I want you to be able to do the best things you possibly can.